What happens if you hit the front brake? Well, you flip over and eat some dirt. I'm Steve Vasquez with Uproxx, and I'm traveling the country in search of adventures within reach of any major city. This is Uprox GPS. I'm here in Atlanta to meet Nathan Flewellen, who is a world traveler who's been mountain biking all over the world, and he and I are going to go mountain biking. I've never been mountain biking, but I'm really excited to go out with Nathan because he told me his goal is to find the best mountain biking trail in America, and he thinks it's gonna be an hour outside of Atlanta. I like to bring people along on these experiences with me because I know I'm the thrill seeker. I'm the one that's wired different. So I feel like people look at me to be able to lead them down a path that they necessarily wouldn't walk down themselves. Man, I'm looking for what I call that back pocket adventure. Something that's, that's close to home that you could always just pull out your back pocket and go and experience. And what's the spot you've been telling me about? Like, wh where are we going? We're going to the Upper Chattahoochee. Now, I've never been, but I did some research. They have like over 800,000 acres. Now, I don't think we're gonna hit all 800,000. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, yo. <laughs> I read also that it's a town there. It has right. some unique character to it that you wouldn't think would be in Georgia. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, so it's gonna be a fun little adventure. All right, man, I'm ready, man. Let's do it. All right. Let's hit the road. So what do you say to the people that work a nine to five and are like, well, I just don't have time to get out? You can't say you don't have time, you can make time. So make time to get outside your comfort zone, have some new experiences, and then that gives you a zest for life. You know, it's crazy being here, seeing this kind of a town right outside Atlanta, and you think about being in the South and you have those preconceived notions of what it's gonna be. But then once you get here and then you see the people's warmth and the smiles and right. how pleasant people are, and it's like, oh, it's cool. Yeah, everybody seems to be really nice, really friendly, and I dig this. Thanks for opening me up to this experience, man. Should we get on some mountain bikes? So what is it about mountain biking that you like? It's exhilarating. When it's a great path and you're able to zip in and out of trees, it's beautiful scenery, and you hear the branches crackling under your bike. Mm -hmm. So it's, just, it's a full sensory experience. So, what are some tips? I, you know, you just gotta brace yourself for a fall, so we're just gonna be careful. All right. So we headed up here to Woody's, and it looks like he's been in business for a while, so he'll be able to get us the bikes right and, and steer us off in that right direction. Time to ride. It's my favorite moment. You excited? I'm stoked, man. I'm stoked. Back yeah. on the bike. Yeah. <laughs> so is the trail everything you hoped it would be? Yeah. I mean, the trail was dope. Climbing up the hills and hitting those banks, those turns. Oh, no. <sighs> Dang. Oh, you can't ride. You don't oh, think I can ride there? I... <laughs> <laughs> this was epic. This was epic. <laughs> it was this epic. This was epic. And you added to the epic. <laughs> I'll never forget you, Steve. <laughs>